Hi there. You might be wondering why I'm wearing these aviator goggles. Well, today we're looking at shapes on a plane. If you want things to put themselves together, first you have to understand how they fit together. We see the patterns things make all around us, all the time, whether we notice them or not. And all of those patterns follow the same rules. Now this is the kind of thing that scientists love to study. But the question is, where do we start? Well, believe it or not, scientists like starting with the easy stuff. And it doesn't get much easier than flat, and flat doesn't get much easier than squares. We see squares covering planes all the time. Checkerboards, graph paper, your kitchen floor. Squares are easy, but when you break those squares in half, like so, you get right triangles. Now those can be morphed into equilateral triangles. Bunch those up six at a time, and you got yourself some hexagons. Now those three shapes, squares, equilateral triangles, and hexagons are special because they make what we call the regular tilings the only three patterns that completely cover the plane onto infinity with only one shape, with only one edge length, and with only one angle. They show up everywhere. In fact, it turns out that every repeating pattern ends up looking a lot like one of these. Take octagons, for example. Now they have eight sides, and when we put them together, they leave these little square-shaped holes. Those should both be clues, and yeah, when we put them together, they do make a square-shaped grid. Circles, on the other hand, make this pattern, which is a hexagonal grid if you connect the blank spaces between the circles, and a triangular one if you connect the centers of the circles. Every repeating pattern on a flat surface, no matter how complex, always has one of these fundamental symmetries beneath it. You can always draw squares, triangles, or hexagons on top of it. So every repeating pattern is based on a regular tiling. But there are some patterns that don't repeat themselves. Irregular tilings, like this one, will go on forever, in all directions, without ever repeating themselves. These patterns are a lot less common, but they do show up from time to time. In this video, you've seen us try on aviator goggles, look at patterns, watch squares turn into triangles that turn into hexagons, play with shapes that act like squares or triangles or hexagons, draw lines on other people's artwork, and stand on a never-ending, never-repeating field of weird angular shapes. I guess the point is that there are really only so many ways to make a pattern that repeats itself, and everywhere you see repetition, you see one of these. <laughs>